Hey everybody, um, I got an 08 Buick Lucerne, um, apparently a very common issue with these vehicles. Um, it's pin number 37 on your relay, uh, starts to get a bad connection, apparently there's a female to female spade connector inside the actual fuse box itself um, that connects the bottom portion to the top portion and basically what happens over time is your rear seat bracket here um, that guy right there, you can see this one has the full metal parts on the bottom. This one I've cut off, the ends protruding. Well, apparently what transpires is those ends, over time, they push right into the lid of your fuse box. And this will cause this relay to tweak. Um, kind of shimmies, pushes it back, and starts loosening up the connection to the relay. Um, so that's those female spade pins in there. They get loosened up. It gets hot, melts, corrodes, whatever gunk gets in there. But point is, you, you stop getting a good connection. Um, and basically because of that, you're going to start blowing relays left and right. Um, from my understanding and my research, fuel pumps in this car are actually pretty solid. Now, you can test the fuel pump, I believe if you jump her from pin 30, which is where this red wire is, to I believe it's pin 87 over here, um, which runs to the fuel pump itself. You can bypass the relay using a paper clip or something to that effect, um, and your relay will, or your fuel pump will work, um, you know, if you've popped a relay. So in a pinch, you can pull that out and do a direct jumper. Now, if you want to diagnose it, you can check the um, amperage flowing through that jumper uh, and basically what you should be seeing is somewhere in the range of about eight sorry I'm shaking a little bit here it's a little chilly um, you should be getting somewhere in the range of about eight to about nine and a half amps traveling through that to the fuel pump um, so that's how you can diagnose the fuel pump and ensure that that is functioning correctly and I would encourage you to do that because they're not cheap um, the cheapest one I found on Amazon was about 85 bucks, but if you get an OEM fuel pump, you know, we're talking three, four hundred dollars. Um, so don't do that. Diagnose it first. Um, there's a 95% chance that basically you're experiencing that loose pin connection inside the fuel box or the fuse panel here. Now, the official fix or the correct thing to do would be to actually replace this whole assembly here. Now, the issue with that is unless you got a bunch of money just lying around, you're talking on the low end on Amazon, about 450 currently, 2024, January 2024. Um, eBay, 260-ish for a used one um, on the low end. And then if you go through a dealership, um, you're, you're talking about 600 to $700 for that box or the block here. Um, so what I've done is, you know, kind of a fix from another gentleman that I've seen and he's been a lifesaver. Um, is basically I got a 20 amp inline fuse and I might have to figure out my fusing a little bit just to make sure that I'm not over fusing because I don't you know I don't want to blow something downstream um, but ultimately you have two spade terminals here um, this top one is a 12 volt constant um, this bottom one I wasn't getting any voltage out of so I'm assuming that's a ground uh, would be my assumption, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm guessing these were put on for easy accessory hookup, positive, negative type deal. Um, so, you know, I've seen another fix where they jumpered from a good 37 pin here over to here. Now, I didn't quite like that. It wasn't fused, wasn't protected. You know, I didn't want to tax this circuit more um, by running too much voltage through it. I wasn't sure what the fuse rating was or even what it powers. Um, so I didn't necessarily like that idea. So what I've done is I've ran a 20 amp um, inline fuse here. And again, I might change the fuse ratings out just to kind of match the 20 here, because right now I got about 40 on the circuit, it seems. Um, but yeah, so 20 amp inline fuse. And uh, this is our, you know, our constant power pin here. Um, so basically I just push that wire down in there and then put my relay back in. Now, one thing you'll notice, even if you're experiencing this problem, you know, if I try to take this relay out, it's in there like glue. Try to take this one out, it slides right out. And if I were to remove this, you'd even be able to see that there's there's burning and scoring on pin number uh, pin number 30. Yeah, pin number 30 there. Um, 
So that's definitely the culprit. It's just getting a bad connection. It's not getting the correct voltage. This thing's struggling to pull um, and basically it heats up and they pop. Um, so I was having these relays pop probably every day um, or every other day, every fourth start, fifth start. Um, since I've done this fix, I have not blown a single relay. Um, they're staying cooler to the touch now. It's slightly warm. Um, it's running right now. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, but it's slightly warm, but it's not getting hot like it was. Uh, seems to be getting adequate voltage. I haven't experienced any issues with this fix. Um, so, you know, if you don't happen to have anywhere from three to, you know, 600, 700 odd dollars lying around, um, this is a good way to go ahead and get that fixed um, without spending an arm and a leg. So yeah, hopefully this is helpful for anybody out there. Um, again, it's been working great for me. This should work on pretty much uh, 06, I think, until about 2011 Buicks. And um, I believe the Cadillac DTS is they use the same um, fuel box in the rear, or fuse box in the rear. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you find this helpful and, um, you know, saves you some money. And uh, feel free to leave some comments, you know, in terms of me using the circuit a little bit better i'd love to hear some feedback i'm not an electrical engineer by any stretch um obviously safety is my number one concern i don't want to damage anything downstream per se um but so far it's been working great for me haven't had any issues uh so happy i found that fix otherwise you know this car would still be out of commission so um very common issue hopefully this helps everybody and have a good day